Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Paliska International, new artist and educator here. And today we are going to the beautiful patchwork, check them out in here. Uh, yes, so, so colorful and like cute. And uh, the idea came up actually when I was painting a different design for you guys. Uh, so uh, I do love when I do something and then another idea just came up because that gives me more opportunities to show you something different and something which you might like as well. Let me know down in the comments below uh, what else you would like to see and let's start this beautiful tutorial. So I show you the zoom and um, design. So that's a patchwork and uh, all the idea came from actually during doing the tutorials as well. And this one is so cute and beautiful. And I've got also my phone in here. I will try to get it out from the light. So this is an awesome picture from the Pinterest, uh, which shows all sort of different patchwork. And actually it is a fantastic way of get the inspiration. So if you stuck for the ideas, just go on the Pinterest and just search a patchwork and it will came up with all sorts of different designs <clears throat> which are very helpful when when creating and working with the nails so i will show you two different ones today and uh, we will be working with some blue color white and some uh, flowery parts as well so on the first one we are going to paint the entirety blue I find it it is easier this way if I just paint all the nails blue first and do the patchwork on top of it. Okay, pop it inside the lamp and then we can also do it something in here. So all tip going to be blue. Pop it into the lamp. This one is cured, so I can apply quickly a second layer. Absolutely stunning designs. And I love these connections of the colors. Like, I think this is pretty um, important the way we connect it. And on the, my mixing palette, I can prepare a couple of the different colors. So we are going to go for pinks, blue, we are going to go for a green, <clears throat> turquoise, and my tip is ready to apply the second coat, so I'm just going to quickly do that on the second one. It actually looks pretty cute. Give it a cure. I think I've got two coats on this one. Yes, I do. So another color we could use, I can see it here as a drop of the yellow. And white. And we'll do two different ones. So this one will be pretty easy for you to do it. Uh, nothing overly too complicated. Basically, you would paint white window, white window, flowers, and then other parts. So I want to make it something more complicated. Say, example, a uh, love heart. So I'm not bothered about my shape inside. What I'm doing is I'm really concentrating about my shape outside. Okay, 
okay so i'm happy with the bottom i'm not happy with this side and now i can start coloring it in Now why, now you know also why I'm always bothered about the outside shape because inside we're just coloring in and even if we uh, don't do something nice so we can always correct the shape. I still feel I need to go bigger. Not as easy as it looks. Smooth out my white. Okay, and I'm happy with this heart now, so I can put it inside the lamp. And then on this one, we will go... We will go... I know what we will do. We will do triangles. So again, I'm first I'm trying to work out my design like so it's nice and straight. Okay. Happy with it, can start coloring it in. So that's kind of similar idea to the first one you have seen. Okay, um need to straighten it up a little bit so and now the same but on the bottom I'm doing a line and the line so this way my design is going to be nice and even color that in absolutely awesome Fun creating this design. Is it straight ish? I'm not going to be more fussy. I can pop it inside the lamp. And now on the loft heart, we need to paint some flowers inside. So maybe on the loft heart we will do we will do slightly different types. I will show you a few different types of this. So on the loft heart, I will show you those small ones here. I'm just doing a splash of the color. And the same in the green, so we've got some leaves. Just grab some fresh white.
again the leaves are just a splash of the color too not too much just a little bit cook it inside the lamp this one is so cool so on this side we are going to do some line work like a check check yeah so i use the paint on french gel i'm going to paint some lines and i want them to be kind of pretty thick nice and um, even gaps in between them uh, because we've got those white it's so easy to paint them because we can start where the white is the blob of the color so this way the lines are nice after we have painted the slimes we need to cure them because if i will go straight away like this i will smudge them and i really don't want to do that then on the other side we are going to have some dots lots of little dots okay and then once i'm happy with it i can put it inside the lamp again <coughs> and pick up this design so on this one we've got those white mixed with a bit of pink and we're going to paint the inside of the roses what i'm doing is i'm like i'm swirly inside and then shaky letter c letters a actually the more shaky you are the nicer results you get Some of them are shorter, some of them are longer. Press it harder, press it lighter, so this way you get uh, different shapes. And this way the roses are much nicer. Do touch up on the leaves. So even if it's just like a wee squiggle of white. And then give it a cure. <clears throat> On this one, we can paint two different types of flowers. So I will maybe have a smaller brush. And we are going to do those roses on the bottom. much smaller okay, so much tinier tiny tinier ones on the top one for a change we are going to have like a slightly different flowers 
Uh, so let's do yellow middles. Okay, so yellow middle, give it a cure. And we can start doing the patchwork already here after we create some dots as well, just so everything's much nice with the lines. Hmm. No, just go for the dots. But maybe bigger for a change. So to paint the bigger dots, if you never used dotting tool before, you just really touch with it. And if you want it bigger, I'm just kind of going like in a cycle. Or you could use a bigger dotting tool, which I don't have to hand. In some of the dots, you can make it half a dot. I think that looks fab as well. Because they're bigger, they also more spur apart. And the tiny we have. Okay, give it a flash cure. And now on this one, with the dotting tool, we are going to paint different type of flowers. So one is going to be blue. Next one is going to be pink. And then another one blue. And maybe this one is pink. Cute little flowers, cure them inside the lamp, and the patchwork. So we've got pink roses, and I think it will be, uh, and we've got blue patch, uh, blue background. So I think it will be nice if we actually paint this one with a bit of blue. So I'm taking a blue, and just so it stands out, a tiny bit of the black as well. I do two dots of black here. Now this is going to be a very difficult task because of the shape we have chosen. So I'm holding my breath or accelerate. Uh, yeah, I'm holding my breath. I want this line work to be really tiny. Almost no pressure on the brush. And then if I'm happy with it, I'm just going to do a couple of those sew lines. Because our design is so cute, you don't want to make them too big. Nice and tiny wheel lines. Okay, I'm 
pretty happy with it so i'm going to cure it in the lamp so black on its own would be far too strong like for this delicate design okay, on this one we need to still finish those lines so i'm going to pick up a fresh scoop of the paint on french gel and now i'm going to paint the lines this way that will be a different type of touch that's so cute and it's not finished yet <laughs> okay the roses To be honest, doesn't matter what you paint. They so tiny that doesn't matter what you paint inside. They will still look good, <laughs> even if it's a dot in the middle. Okay, so that's my roses done, and on the top flowers. I'm just going to give them a bit more life so but on the darker one I'm using the lighter pink and then on the blue ones I will add a drops of the whites as well just so they're not that flat inside we've got the yellow and a dot of white give it a cure and then we can move on into the patchwork <coughs> and this one is done so i can just apply the top coat and show you the final look i love with the top coat that's uh, always every design smooths out nice got something there so messy sometimes guys sorry excited about the designs and then so just applying the top coat stick it inside the lamp and then let's do this patchwork on this one so i'm going to use those blue with a drop of the black nice and thin line see the blue when it's too much blue it's not as visible and the black is definitely too dark on its own So holding the breath again. It is a difficult place because we've got those lines underneath. And then adding the patches. Same on the other side. And the last couple okay once we're happy with it we can pop it inside the lamp again and i show you this one so 
can see how much nicer it is when the top coat is on it. Such as cute designs. Absolutely amazing. I just need to wait a couple seconds longer and I show you how the other one smooths out as well because I'm, I'm pretty curious about it, how it looks as a finished result. If you've got any questions, any ideas, just uh, let me know down in the comments below. Just thinking maybe I should add those green leaves. Oh, I'm horrible. Yes, I'm going to add those gris green leaves. Yes, let's just finish it off. And same in here. See, even those, those small changes, like I think. Oh, wow, yes. I hope you agree with me as well. That's those little detail change a lot. Cameraman, what do you think? Is it better with leaves or no? Better, I think, as well. It's more fill up. So kick it in. I was like, hmm, I'm missing something there. <laughs> yeah, now it is matching the complete idea. So I'm just going to flash cure it because I'm so impatient, and then so sometimes I smash my designs because of it, uh, especially when I'm doing tutorials or especially when I'm just practicing something. And then apply the top coat. Oh, that's so beautiful when it's smoothing out. Actually, I, I could wear them on my nails like this, so let me cook this one quickly. And then I can put it in here. And the brush I was using, that was the D-liner, so that's my brush, which we took some time really to to perfect it, to get it at really the way it is and, and to be able to paint nice and thin lines and lots of different designs with it. And I, I'm so in love with it. Um, I can see how my hand is flowing. Cameraman is just... And uh, he's sometimes um, quiet because of the English barrier. And now his English is getting better than mine. Eh? Yeah, my hand is flowing with it. That's a nice word. Thank you. And that's the third one we have created. So, oh, they are really cute in the camera, actually. They, they look fantastic. Anyway, glittery hacks. Uh, lots of, lots of thank you for your support and staying with me in this channel. And I see you next time. Mm -hmm.